Well, guys, I was trying to uh, video this whole engine build for you. I've been so focused on the engine. Well, I had the camera on the wrong settings. So unfortunately, I don't think you'll have gotten to see me putting the crank in. Uh, my issue with the uh, one connecting rod bearing, putting the camshaft in, explaining the lifters, what I did to them, all that stuff. And that really sucks because I was enjoying that. Best I can say now is shit. Uh, anyway. Here we are, short blocks assembled, uh, cam, cam tensioner, all that jazz is in place. I'm a little bit despondent, honestly. So I guess you're getting the short version. You're getting to see me put the top end together on the engine. Sorry, guys. cylinder heads down so let's get cracking standard spiral pattern no big deal away we go three stages 50 and stopping Game on. So 50 foot pounds, <clears throat> I'll do both heads, then 65, and then 95.
All right. Not the heads. Might as well put the time cover on. No. I think we'll do push rods and rocker arms. That'll make me happier. So, so far I've had three break off, hence the reason why I put all brand new ARP studs in. It just, I don't know why they break off, but they're under a lot of strain and I'm not any easier on them than the next guy. specs had my feeler gauges had my feeler gauges wow that was quick Gotta be here, don't they? Yeah, there they are. So, hot lash is 16 thou, meaning I have to set them cold at 10 thou. Yay! It takes them off to tighten it up because when the engine gets to operating temperature, all your clearances grow. That's why your oil pressure drops down a few pounds and other things happen. So, uh, that's the ticket. That's what we'll do. I'm just going to do them one cylinder at a time. I know there's ways you can go around it and do it once. Not worried about it. do the intake on number one.
I just run her down. Then I bring it back up. I can fit the tent tile in there nice and easy. Oh, that's 12. 10, there he is. strain on it just right there run my lock down arms are on all that jazz is good uh, I'm gonna drop in my distributor drive gear and then put my intake manifold on some of you might ask why I don't have the oil pan on yet well I have to uh, 
modify my oil pump pickup. My Mylodon one has cracked on me twice now? Three times? Twice anyway. And I don't like that, so anyway, we're going to fix that. So right now I have to go up on top dead center number one to position my distributor drive gear properly. There we go. So, distributor drive gear. It's got a slot in it. It doesn't matter where the teeth mesh with as long as the slot is pointing straight forwards or slightly to the driver's side manifold. Mm, that's too far. Pull her back out. Get her rotating one more tooth should do it. There we have her pointing like that. Textbook. Now we got that on, we can throw the intake manifold on. Start looking like an engine. <laughs> 